My setup is just solar and it's worked well for years. The thing is now I need to change them because they're not working properly, they are inefficient, they're starting to fail. I have no choice, I need to do it now before winter. I need to get them changed. So I've searched and I've found a replacement. It's something the right size because I struggled finding the right size for this van. But it's something the right size but far better quality and it should outperform and outlast the cheap solar panels that I've got. So these are from All Powers, today's video sponsor. I know the quality from using their power stations, their solar power generators, their folding solar panels. The quality is top notch. So it made sense to work with them again for this project. I didn't know that they made flexible panels. And then I was browsing the internet and I came across them and the size is perfect for a micro camper like this. If you need solar or a power station, then check them out. I've put a link in the description in the comments. Thanks All Powers for making this video happen. Now, I knew when I fitted these, they were gonna be virtually impossible to remove. I even joked in the video about how they were never gonna come off. Now's the time I need to do it. This is going to take a few hours, hopefully not days. This wind is getting strong. So these are nicely packaged. So in the first packet we've got a load of Velcro straps and then power cable running to an XT60 straight into the the power station with that and then in here we've got a couple of the adapters so these are two panels into one the panel looks nicely packaged foam around Ooh. that looks nice that looks real nice this wind it's getting ridiculous man so straight away on the top of the panel, you can see we've got some lengths of cable. These are nice. Got their own little Velcro ties. They look nice quality. So I like that, how they can tap together. That is very neat. Very neat. And this comes off. This looks nice. See that? That looks lovely. And this panel, this panel looks gorgeous. These nice square eyelets. And that's the rear of the panel. But just the finish on this looks absolutely amazing. And it's not got the white surround like the cheap plastic ones. I hated that about the old panels. They just stood out like a sore thumb. So we've got six of these Velcro straps and they'll fit through those eyelets, beautiful. And then two of these connectors. So basically it's a double to a single, so you can take the two panels down to one solar controller. And then this is the lead. I can connect the panels if I want it straight into the power station. So the quality of these look amazing. They look a completely different lead to what I had before. I can't wait to get them fitted. The problem is, I've got to get those old ones off first. They will be impossible to remove. They were my words from when I fitted them. Well, yesterday's impossible is today's possible. Let's get it done. So my idea to get these off think it's going to pick off and I don't want to be wedging tools and stuff underneath because I don't want to damage the roof I want to get this off clean the roof up nice so my plan is using a wire like what hitmen use if you don't get it a tangle so 
So for anyone else thinking of doing this, this is actually a cheese wire. And it's normally 60 centimetres long, which isn't wide enough to get underneath this panel. But I found some 90 centimetres long, and that will fit underneath the treat. Da da! Still a bit coily, though, isn't it? Obviously, it's been cooled up. Whoa! So my plan is get underneath and e -e 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 cut it away until it's done. Until it's done. Right. My curly whirly wire, which is just too curly whirly for its own good. No. It broke. I've not even done like one proper corner, and it broke. No way. That is not good. That is not good. Because now it's going to be too short. Stabbing my fingers. Like this is just pulling out. Maybe prying it off, maybe trying to lift it off is the way to go. Obviously it's, well it's warm now. So much sicker flex on this when I fit it. Oh my god. This corner is stuck on really strong. This is stuck on six ribs of the roof. <laughs> it's taking me all this time to get it off of one. Oh my god. This is gonna take an age. Oh, I don't wanna snap the panel. I don't wanna 
Put down the roof. There it goes. Oh. One rib done. The second one's come off quite easily. Obviously, I didn't use anywhere as much sicker flex under the middle. Oh, crap. You just have to apply the pressure. See, so hearing it popping. And then when you get underneath, it starts to peel away. There she blows. That is half of it done. I need to get off my ass. It's hurting. Oh. So I climb off the roof and jump down to then realise I've got a completely dead blooming leg jumping off the van with a dead leg now we're going to do this oh. I nearly got stuck then Stand on the tyre, hanging on with one end, my fingers under here with the other, and then it got stuck down. I just had to rip my fingers out. Uh. Uh. I read up on the internet how to remove sicker flex. I thought you must, you must be able to get some kind of dissolver, some spray for it. It always says mechanical. You can get a sicker flex remover but it's for when it's within 10 hours of being laid down. Not three to four years. There we go. Two ribs left. This is it now folks, this is it. Two more left. Oh, that one is on there, good. Oh, this is exhausting. If you had any intention of using these afterwards, they will be absolutely destroyed. That edge is gone. Oh my god, it battered your arms. On to the last one. The last one. Balance on my tippy toes on my car tire. <sighs> this is stuck on so well. This is where I need my bit of wire. I knew it was going to be hard. Did I know it was going to be this hard? Probably.
Oh my god, it is done. That is one of two panels. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sycaflex sticks good. And now, I've got to try and get it off. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> 